and hope to God. Hello and welcome to All The Way Down, a YouTube channel all about the Scottish rock band Biffy Clyro. So it's part two of Biffy and God. We're going to look at the next few albums, so albums six to ten, uh, opposites to the myth of the happily ever after. 22 references to God, um, as far as I can see, in these uh, songs, and we're going to look at them essentially one by one. Having watched back the first video that I made and my comments about um, Sai's stance on religion and if he, ha he has a certain belief, um, it is worth saying that people change, people are human. Um, we've all read stories of people, it may have happened to yourself, people changing their religious beliefs after certain experiences. It may have happened to Sai, we just don't know. It's something that uh, I'm presuming and guessing. Um, it's safe to say though, I think, judging from a couple of these lyrics that I've picked out, that it's he's possibly not changed his beliefs. In fact, his kind of atheism, I think, uh, looms larger in the second half of these albums. So let's start with opposites. Um, from what I can see, seven references to either religion, uh, some sort of religious uh, or Christian language. Um, biblical, you gave me magical, I gave you wonderful. Let's make this biblical and hang from our invisible cords. Uh, I've said it before that this song is clearly about um, the struggles in having a child um, with his partner. Um, and the song Biblical, it's a great song live, uh, far better live than on record. This though, you know, there's a lot of references to, um, you know, having a difficult time, going through a difficult period. Um, and the, the phrase, let's make this biblical, um, there's a few ways you can go with that. I'm not quite sure what he means. Um, but it's, as a phrase, it's a really striking uh, uh, sentence to, to say in a song. In Spanish radio, he says, this dark land looming over the hill, maintain a holy stance and protect your children. Uh, I'm not sure what a holy stance is. Maybe it's the um, Infinity Land uh, figure on the uh, the cover of that, where he's kind of doing a thing with his hands. Maybe that's a holy stance. I'm not quite sure. Victory over the sun. Trees will speak before you listen. Oh my God, no one knows that we can barely stand each other. Bit of a passing reference, not you know a, a clear, direct reference to religion there. But he said, oh my God, so I thought I'd uh, put it in. Couple of B-sides from this era reference uh, God and religion. Thunder Monster. Um, I never said I was soft, although I feel it sometimes. You don't know when enough is enough of telling you. Can we switch this all off and disregard it? Because all of our religions and our far, far away dreams. Finger Hut. Now I've got a Finger Hut. Time to start breaking out. These clones of me are unhealthy. Islands of naked gods. That reminds me of maybe a Storm Ferguson print. Storm Ferguson worked with the band over this period uh, and Islands of Naked Gods basically looks like a print that you would come up with. You could you could see that as a Biffy Clyro uh, piece of artwork around this point. No, I'm not down. My back's against the wall. This is between me and God. Our future's looking colder with no one else around. The main difference I'm picking out of these lyrics opposed to the lyrics I went through in the first video in the first video, he seems to be questioning a lot, and now he seems to be turning turning against the idea of God and being a bit more combative in his language. This is between me and God, so maybe it's a score that he needs to settle or something he needs to sort out with it. But the biggest uh, God or religion reference in the Opposites era is from the song The Joke's On Us. Are we alive because God saved us? Or is this life just a juggernaut? Are we alive because... God tricked us? Or is this all just a joke on us? He's pondering the big question of why are we here and not for the first time. Um, is God being deceptive? Is it a cruel game that he's playing? Is it all just a big joke? Um, is life a trick that God is overseeing and sort of up there in heaven laughing at us? That's, I think, what he's trying to describe here. 
Now we move on to ellipsis, just two references that I can see uh, in Howell. Uh, there is no return and there's no one to call. I picked up the, a phone connected to the God. So again, more communication, more conversation with God. Um, in Wolves of Winter, um, a little bit of a reference here. You stink of hallelujah, but you wash yourself in sin. That's a kind of a contradiction that he's pointing out there. The idea of someone being good, but on the face of it, you know, elsewhere in hiding, uh, being quite uh, negative. Now we move on to the soundtrack uh, for the film, Balance Not Symmetry, uh, the albums uh, of the same name. In All Singing, All Dancing, I'd probably say my favourite song from this album. Um, I've got a fever, I wanted more. We're in the middle of it, all this fire and brimstone. Let your God tell you where to go. When he sings, let your God tell you where to go, I think that's kind of a pointed reference to everyone has different gods in the world you know christianity islam there are different gods for different religious religions so i think he's pointing out that we all have different things to look up to fever dream uh, i had an interview with god i grounded for all to see i hit the wall and fell to my knees i had an interview with god where the fuck is god you made it my memory you took what you pleased i had an interview with god and then in brackets, God, God, God. It's a big question to ask, where the fuck is God? You also bring in the fact that he's used quite a big swear word here. It, to me, denotes anger, frustration, aggression. Where the fuck is God? I get from this that a lot of people use religion because they feel God's presence. I'm getting from this that Sai feels God's absence a lot of the time. And... So far, in all of these songs that I've talked about in this video and the other one, this is the one where he's kind of really blatantly showing his real feelings towards his idea of God and religion. The whole absence that he feels. I sense his anger that there's been no intervention in his life, in certain things that he's, that's happened to him. Let's not forget he's already met God a few times, he's had an interview with him. In Living is a Problem, um, he's met God. Uh, and he had nothing to say to him. Now he has an interview with him, uh, and he's asking those questions. Where are you? What are you doing? Why are you not intervening? That's what I'm getting from this song. There's a couple more references in Balance Not Symmetry. Uh, in The Naturals, he says, uh, I lay down in the corner of the churchyard. I count, I count the hours that God is not home. Can we rise and create something special? Hope I'm not alone. It's another kind of uh, jab at the fact that God is not where he should be. Following master, oh my God, oh my anything, uh, what's it like to be used and betrayed? I love that line, oh my God, oh my anything. You know, people say, oh my God, as if, you know, God is the sort of the biggest thing around. And then in the second, in the same breath, he's saying, just anything, anything that I could prob possibly cling to uh, for any help. Four references in a celebration of endings. In the champ, he says, a biblical truth and a cynical lie. Uh, tiny indoor fireworks. I fire it up, then blow it out. I build it up, then tear it down. Summit the ocean, scale the lake, and I pray for the better days. Quite big language there. Summit the ocean, scale the lake. Reminds me of mountains, the language you use in, in the chorus of that. Um, and again, he's praying. In a lot of songs, we hear Sai praying for things. Uh, and in other songs, he's basically saying that God, God isn't around. It's a lot of contradiction. But the most blatant reference in this uh, era of music is in hi Instant History. He starts off, Dear God, uh, adjust my dreams for me. All I learned is Instant History. Dear God, I'm shouting in the streets because all I love is Instant History. For someone who, you know, a couple of songs ago, he's basically saying, where the hell are you? Now he's saying, he's like writing a letter to him, praying to him. Uh, he's addressing God very directly. The Pink Limit, he says, you're totally Jesus and totally rad. I'm totally listening to what's being said. Is he saying that Jesus and rad are the same thing here? Is, is he putting Jesus on that ped pedestal by saying you're the coolest thing? I, we've heard him do that before. Again, a uh, very striking image to put up. And finally, uh, the myth of the happily ever after. Five references, starting with the witch's cup. I just hope that when we go, that there's something deeper only a light in the sky, no rivers below. I won't deceive it all. Um, he's praying for heaven. Let's 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 put it that way. Um, 
he's hoping that when we we die, that there's something else afterwards. For someone who's claimed that there is absolutely nothing, and he's questioning where he is all the time, um, again, another contradiction. Holy water, how long till we drink the holy water? How long can we survive? I'm on my knees begging, please let it flow. This font is dry. This sounds like it's coming from someone who really, really wants to believe. Lots of lovely uses of religious language with the font and the holy water. But again, he's on his knees, he's praying, he's begging. Let there be something else. Let me have some help and support. In Unknown Mail 1, um, I'm going to try and right my wrongs before I up and leave. Land on the final chord. It's the sweetest sound I heard. And now all that weight is gone. Does it bring you sweet relief? You're looking down upon the sum of you and me. Quite subtle reference there, I think, to um, people passing and um, looking over you when they go. Uh, slurpy, slurpy, sleep, sleep. I fear the world. Brothers and sisters, repent. I just had to have, have that in there because it had the word repent and uh, that sort of religious, quite big, bold um, language that he uses. Got to have it in. But the biggest reference in this uh, album cycle is my favourite song from this uh, this era. Errors in the History of God. That's why I'm so eager to explore. Even if I dream a little dream. Even if I've fallen close to God. There's a mystery at large. And the story should be beautiful. We're just another species to explore. In this symphony of God. I know that it's horse shit. Just something to applaud. We're errors in the history of God. Quite a lot going on there. The first one I want to pick up, um, he basically says that God, he knows it's all false. It's, according to him, horse shit. But I think I've said in the other video, he's more attracted to the language and the imagery of religion. Um, he says here he knows that all of this is wrong, but the story is absolutely beautiful. The, the, the idea of you know being looked upon by this big mythical force looking after us all is and should be beautiful but he knows that it's wrong and again lots of contradictions in this in this lyric and the title of the song errors in the history of god is he saying that people on this uh, world do do awful things we've seen a lot of awful things in the last couple of years is he basically saying that we and the things that happen are mistakes that god is making um, is he not the completely perfect being that he's being described as elsewhere? But I love the fact that he says in the lyrics, he's so eager to explore. And as we're sort of uh, putting this to an end, I mean, we'll probably do more videos as more music comes out about his relationship with God and the lyrics that he uses uh, in reference to that. But I like the fact that he is, he's basically admitting that he is so really eager to find out about all this stuff and to find out more information. That's why I'm so eager to explore. And um, that to me is more powerful than saying that God is a load of horse shit. So there we go, that was part two of uh, Biffy's relationship with God and the um, the lyrics that Sai has come up with and all the references to uh, God and religion that he, I think he's come up with. I must say as well, and I said at the start of the video, um, Sai may have changed his mind, people do, they change their beliefs, you know, it's not uncommon. But these are only my perceptions of his lyrics. They could mean absolutely anything. And they could be all lies, they could be all truth, they could be half and half, we just don't know. Um, but I think it's worth bringing up that Sai is clearly, does have a fascination with this language, with, with the religious imagery. Um, and as the uh, albums go on and on and on, I think he becomes more braver in saying and more confident in saying what he actually thinks. Um, and from, you know, questioning uh, in the first couple of albums, quite subtle references here and there to actually saying, where the hell are you? Um, it's all horse shit. And it's all probably just a massive joke on everyone else. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, do subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video. All the way